Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a grand solar minimum update. Saturday, May 11th, around 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 2024. The third largest solar storm in 35 years is starting to wane for now, but we have more CMEs on the way, and this could push us back up into G5, geomagnetic storm, extreme geomagnetic storm. Keep calm. It's boom time. Sierra surprise snowpack surge, 26 plus inches of snow in just one day. Take a look at the global warming goodness from Donner Pass down through the Yosemite Valley and even Mammoth Lakes. Shut up, Al. Get your hole. Al Gore says it doesn't snow anymore. But there is, in fact, a snow warning issued for Hawaii can you believe them apples? Al is baffled and he gets no butt Well, the cleanup continues throughout. Yes, the cleanup is continuing. The worst I've ever seen. And we're talking about Wimberley, Texas, following severe storms and gigantic softball-sized hail falling in the Texas Hill Country. Take a look at, that's Matthew Capuccio, I believe, with a helmet full of hail. I think he actually should have the helmet on, but I do digress. Large hail balls falling in the south and causing extreme damage. If you watch last night's update, we actually showed you video of the storm. Mother's Day in Alabama looks mostly dry, but heavy rain and strong storms are moving into the southeast early in the week. Severe thunderstorms and heavy rain from the southern high plains into the lower Mississippi Valley. Strong to severe thunderstorms capable of producing large hail, gusty winds, and heavy rainfall will be possible over the next few days from New Mexico to Texas into western Mississippi. Additional heavy rain over previously saturated soils may lead to flash and urban flooding, so heed the warnings. Flash flood warnings and watches in green up here in Montana as well as East Texas. Isolated thunderstorms will also be possible across portions of the Midwest. As we take a look at that GFS model and show you the storms moving through in the next 12 hours, and there we see at the beginning of the week, Sunday night into Monday, that severe weather threat in the south move across through midweek. Could be some pretty spectacular storms here by Tuesday. Let's take a look at the total snowfall and show you what's going on here in the mountains. Snow continues to fall day after day in the Rockies, and it looks like late in May here, we could be getting some spicy stuff happening. More snow as we enter summer. Definitely not a bummer. A bummer here. Flash floods have killed more than 300 people in Afghanistan. People are seen here near the damaged homes after heavy flooding in Baglan province in northern Afghanistan on Saturday. Absolutely devastated here. A man walks near his damaged home after heavy flooding in Baglan province in northern Afghanistan on Saturday. The government has ordered all available resources to be mobilized. So our prayers go out to those affected. Seismic update, no quakes of note, normal activity worldwide. We did have a magnitude 4.5 just 16 miles southeast of Iliamna volcano up there in Alaska. And if you pan out on this picture, take a look at how many volcanoes there are up there in Alaska. Absolutely mind-boggling. Worldwide Volcano News Update. Sabancaya puffing to 24,000 feet today. Fuego to 17,000 feet. We had an upgrade at Ibu. Ibu in Indonesia. The alert status was raised to level 3. An eruption today built up 4-kilometer ash columns. And well... I guess they're worried that it's only going to get worse. Ibu has seen an uptick in puffs and passes over the last several weeks. Semaru to 15,000 feet. Nevado de Ruiz on the list for the day. Ducono puffing. Reventador to 14. Liwa Tobi to 6,000 feet. Fuego to 17. Semaru to 15. Ibu to 20,000. And there you can see the explosive activity continuing at Ibu today. And that sums up the list. The most recent report, Semaru to 15,000. 
As we go to the big story of the day, Northern Lights on full display across the U.S. and Europe on Friday, as well as the Southern Hemisphere in Australia, New Zealand, they all got to pick up on the party. Hundreds of millions of people witnessing Aurora for the first time worldwide, and this is due to a large geomagnetic storm hitting Earth. In fact, the largest geomagnetic storm in the third largest in 30 years, 35 years. We're going to get to that in just a moment as we look at a time lapse here of the last 24 hours, hours of powers. And this came from Blue Canyon, Colorado, uh, California. The storm has now lasted in G5 geomagnetic storm for about 24 hours, an extreme geomagnetic storm lasting 24 hours, capping the list as the third strongest since the Quebec event back in 1989, being the strongest 35 years ago. The Halloween storm of 2003 comes in at number two, and this event just slightly weaker, just 10 nanoteslas weaker, the 2024 extreme geomagnetic storm that we're all living. Now, the KP has dropped down to 7.33 and is modulating, but telemetry is showing us, we'll take a look here, that the plasma speed has just jumped up once again above 900 kilometers per second. So we could be seeing some of those secondary CMEs coming our way. And what do I mean by that? Well, we're going to about to take a look at the WSA Enlil Spiral predi Prediction, which is now showing seven coronal mass ejections, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all headed our way. And the second round is going to hit starting now and into tomorrow. So we're waiting for this geomagnetic storm to potentially get accentuated from its current position. How you can get higher than nearly 1,000 kilometers per second is anyone's guess, but we're waiting for another big shift here in the BZ um, to push this back up, if at all it does. The three-day geomagnetic forecast is showing G3 geomagnetic storm all the way through the 13th, and it's only the 11th, folks, so... And there is more flaring happening as a global D-level is happening right now. We did have several more flares today, an X1.5 and an M8.8 from that departing region, both CME producers. And we are also waiting for the X5.8, which produced a large CME that's headed our way. All this is coming in the next two days. And what a time to be alive. Now, good news, Lee and I break all this down in just a moment, well, in about an hour over at Magnetic Reversal News, a full expose on the extreme G5 geomagnetic storm that is ongoing, the largest solar storm in 21 years, and we'll talk about historical data and analysis and everything you need to know to know when the grid will go down, how strong the storm has to be, and how you can watch and survive and thrive in the coming times. We're also going to discuss how geomagnetic storms can have surprising impact on your health, all coming up in just about an hour. Now to this story, Earth's CO2 level is increasing faster than ever. You know what that means? I'll tell you. Some call it gre the greening of the planet. Even NASA says the planet has greened 30% over the last several decades because of CO2. And that means you need to start growing food now because it's easier than ever. With all that additional CO2 in the atmosphere, you're going to get more yield, better crops, and well, it's just better for planet Earth because trees do better, which provides more shade and well... You know the deal. That's a boom to knowledge. Please share this video as we are shadow banned. We need your help to grow. Become a Patreon. Support the work we do. If you want to support us, just get the seeds. You Use coupon code ORP2024 for 10% off. If you order more than $25 worth of seeds, the shipping's free. They barely, they basically pay for themselves. And we'll see you for the full analysis of the ongoing G5 extreme geomagnetic storm and all of the facts you need to know. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Mm -hmm.